Okay, so on this problem, we want to find the absolute max and min values for this function given this interval. So first step you must do is take your derivative. So hopefully this part's going to be easy. So the derivative is going to be x squared minus x minus 6. Now once you've taken the derivative, you're always going to set the equation equal to 0. And then you're going to solve for x. Now notice we have a quadratic. So with a quadratic, we're going to have to either a factor it or b use the quadratic formula, whichever one seems best for you. Okay, so x squared can be broken up to x and x. And then what times what gives us negative 6? When I subtract, I get negative 1. And you would be correct, it is minus 3 and plus 2. So x equals. Uh, positive 3 and negative 2. So then what we're going to do is make a table. Ooh, that is definitely not straight. We'll work with it. X and Y. We have to include these two endpoints, so negative 3 and 4, and then also include these critical points. And these here are our critical points. I don't know what happened there. So, oi. So we're going to add negative 2 and 3. So what you're going to do is plug these values into the original function. Into original function. Okay. So what you're going to do is plug negative 3 in this equation. And hold on, i got to grab a calculator. I'm back. So when you plug negative 3 into the original equation, you're going to get 4.5. And then plug negative 2 in, you're going to get 7.333. Plug 3 in, you're going to get negative 13.5. And plug 4 in, you get negative 10.667. So now the question is, what's the absolute max or min? You're going to look over here. Which value is the biggest? So here is the biggest. And which one is the smallest? Here is my smallest. Oops. So my absolute max is not going to be 7.33, but my absolute max will be at x equals negative 2. So let me move this down. So I have an absolute max at x equals negative 2. 13, I'm sorry, negative 13.5 is my smallest number, but my absolute min will be located at x equals 3. So we'll end this with absolute min at x equals 3. This only, you only do this where you make the table if you're given an interim, um, interval, not an interim, an interval. I hope this helped.